Today, I'm going to show you how to make the uh, coffee can bird houses. Now, the one thing I have found is on this one, I just took the label off because it just, I don't know why, but it seems like they like the darker ones. Uh, I mean, don't take my word for it, but with all the ones I've painted, they always go for the darker ones first. So, you might want to think about that. And this one I'm not going to paint because it's pretty nice and clean with the label gone. And another thing, I don't wash my cans. I do not wash the inside. I take a paper towel and wipe it out. And the reason for that being is because the smell of the coffee will cover any oil or anything left from your hands on it. And the birds can smell humans. So that the coffee, the smell of that coffee will mask that. And also, when you get ready to put your little perch stick in there and you have to use hot glue, the coffee will help mask the, the smell of the hot glue. All right, to start with, I've, I've got my lid here and I've got it upside down. And I have a lid that I use. This came from, uh, I don't know, it was like a dollar general uh, gallon of Kool-Aid or something. But anyway, it's an inch and a half. And that's what I use. Now, you can take a pen and try to draw around it. And what you want to do is find the middle of your lid, which will be, there'll be a little dot thing right in the middle, right here, if you can see that you want to put your lid just above that. All right, and then you can either use an X-Acto knife to cut around it. Or you can take a pencil, a crayon, you know, whatever you're comfortable with draw around it and then cut it. I do it like this myself because it's a little more accurate. See, it just it more marks it than anything. And then you just go in and kind of go back over your cut. If you're using an X-Acto knife or anything, please watch your fingers because these things are like super duper 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 sharp. Alright, and there we have it. Okay, now you have a one and a half inch hoe, which is pretty good for you know, uh, small birds and stuff. And also, this kind of helps keep bigger predators out of the nest. And that's why the birds will use them because the hoe's small enough to where bigger predators like squirrels and stuff like that can't get into their eggs. All right, now right down below it, you want to make a cross cut in the shape of a cross. Or X. X would probably be the better word for it. Alright, and then what I've done is I went out and cut some sticks, and I always use green so they last a little bit longer. But they are five inches long, and they're no bigger than a round of a pencil. But uh, anyway, take one of those and stick it through. You don't want to leave a lot, a lot of room back there, but or I mean you don't want a, a lot of the stick sticking out back there and then take hot glue and put on both sides just make sure that your stick is straight
Then what I do is just set it up like this and uh, to let it dry or find something that I that I can put it in like that, like uh, a bowl or something to uh, keep the stick from leaning over or falling over or, you know, whatever. But just make sure your stick is pretty straight before you glue it down. Alright, now, for the uh, birdhouse part itself, what I do is I go inside and I go about right here, and I have a punch. You can use whatever will get you through the plastic. Don't make your hole too, too, too big. can see that or not but see the hole I made in the back okay and then where this you want this handle part to be the bottom of it and the reason being when the birds build their nest they'll start here and come up like this and it puts it above the birds will build on the two little things here their nest will come up above that so you want to make sure this, the handle part, is at the bottom. Then, at the bottom of that right here, I make a little hole. You can do it with whatever you got. But anyway, I make that little hole there. And the reason being is because when you put it up like this, and if water in any way, shape, or form happens to get in there, with the way the birds build in it, up above on these little things, the water will get in this little groove, run backwards, and drip out that hole. So the birds aren't sitting in water. Then, you want to find a washer. I have a washer, it's one inch. And then you find a screw that the head's bigger than the hole. And then that's what you screw through the back of your birdhouse. And that's how you connect it to your pole or tree or whatever. Then just take a screwdriver, hold it up like that to your pole, and go in and screw it in. Now, if you're going to put it to a fence post or something like that, use a little bit longer screw. But if you're going to put it on a tree, try to only get a screw long enough to go through the bark and not too far into the tree so you don't damage the tree. Uh, remember to leave the smell of the coffee in there and see then make sure that there's your birdhouse and the birds will thank you for it and uh, at the end of every year do not glue the lid on that way at the end of every year you can just go up, pop your lid off, clean out your nest, put it on, and get it ready for the next following year. And that's how I do the coffee can birdhouses. And I hope everyone tries it because my birds love it. And, you know, uh, they are plastic, so you have to realize that over the years the weather will dry the usually takes about three years to four years the weather will dry the plastic out and it'll start cracking 
But the if you drink coffee every day and this is what you buy your coffee in, save your cans and pull the screw out. Use the same screw. After three years, replace the bird out. Start all over again. All right, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and I hope this helps you out a lot. And if the stick is too long, cut it off about one inch. You know, you don't. It doesn't have to be uh, five inches long. That's just what I cut it at. See, cut it off at four inches. That's all you got to do. All right, guys. I hope to see these birdhouses everywhere because these are ones that you can take down, throw away, take them down, throw them away, renew them. Uh, it gives you a use for these coffee cans. You're saving on wood, all of that stuff, and the birds love them. So, you know, you're saving a lot of things in a lot of ways, and you're use, reusing a lot of things. And that's always a good thing. So, that's what's up, Rusty Brown. See you later.